Let's look at the pseudo code for this algorithm. Let's start with an array. And we need to go over all the elements of the array one by one, inserting the newly accessed element in its right place so that the already accessed part of the array remains sorted. So we must write a for loop using which we can access each element of the array one by one. That is, we should be able to access elements from the zeroth index up to the last index, which is given by one less than the size of the array. Here we represent the array with a capital letter A. The first thing we do is to save the element at index i into a variable and let's call it current. So that even when we write over the index i, the element at i is saved in another variable and we are able to access it later. Then we start accessing the elements of the array starting from the previous index, which is i minus 1. Now we would like to compare the elements of the array one by one with the current element going to the left to check if the current element is less than these elements. So we do this until either we have reached the leftmost end of the array or the elements at index j are greater than the current element. We can do this in a while loop and as long as this condition is true, we keep shifting the element at index j to the right by 1. So here 12 shifts to the right. Then we reduce the value of j by 1 so that we can access the element 8. So 8 is also greater than 7. So we move 8 to the right. Then again reduce the value of j by 1 because this is happening in a while loop, right? So now the index j is pointing to element 5 and because 5 is less than 7, hence the while loop ends. And what we need to do is to put the current which is 7 in the array slot with index j plus 1 because j after the while loop was executed was pointing to the element 5. All right. So this was the pseudo code for the insertion sort algorithm. And again, I suggest that you spend some time thinking about it. All right.